Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great start to your day. Welcome to the second to last what's left in my home fragrance collection series that I've been sharing towards the beginning of 2024. As I mentioned in my last video, which was my Bath & Body Works candle collection, what is left of that, um, I film these videos at the start of each year to serve as a little reminder for myself in the future in terms of the progress that I have made in terms of whittling my candle collection down. I've mentioned this in every single video, so I will quickly mention it here. I am not whittling my candle collection down because I am no longer a fan of this hobby or I'm not planning to continue. <laughs> enjoying home fragrance. This is just simply me trying to get everything down to a more um, reasonable amount. So um, an amount that isn't going to overwhelm me, if you will. Everything, uh, at least by the end of this year or middle part of next year needs to be able to fit into the closet that I have in the hallway outside of this room here and I can never outgrow that closet in terms of candles. So I think that that is going to help to keep me accountable in the future. Um, but I've had a lot of fun with this little project here of using up a lot of the home fragrance that quite frankly, I have been hanging on to for years. You're gonna see a few Yankee candles in here that really I have held on to for many, many years. <laughs> in fact, you guys know that I haven't really purchased anything from Yankee in quite some time. Um, I stopped buying from them several years back. I just, I found that the quality really declined at least in terms of what I was paying and the performance that I was getting. So um, I have heard that Yankee has improved a few things here and there. So I do wanna try them again. My intention was to try them last year, but I just never ended up getting around to it. So I'm gonna put them back on the list for 2024. Anyway, you guys, this collection here really incorporates kind of the brands that I only have a few candles from, um, from each of these brands. So I don't have massive collections. I'm glad I don't. <laughs> and I don't want to necessarily build massive collections from any of these brands. I, w I would repurchase uh, from Voluspa, for example, um, but I would definitely choose to go with their larger format, which you see there. Um, I will always repurchase my Nest holiday candles, especially, but I also, there's a few year-round fragrances that I also really enjoy from Nest, so that will be a repurchase for me in the future. Um, Henry Bendel, I can no longer get, but yeah. And then Colonial Candle, are they still around? <laughs> I really, it's it's been a long time since I have shopped with Colonial Candle. Um, it's so funny. I still remember my experience with, um, what was his name? <sighs> his name was Eddie. Do any of you guys, were you here long enough to remember Eddie from Colonial Candle? Oh my gosh, I had the most absurd interactions with this man. <laughs> that was comical. But anyway, I hope Eddie's doing well. Anyway, you guys, let's get into it. I just want to take you on a little ride here through what is left. Um, so we're going to get started with the um, with the Yankee Candles over here. I'm just going to zoom you in. By the way, this closet is in my guest room, and um, I, have cle I used to house my Bath & Body Works candles in here, but as you can see, I am now storing holiday things in this closet, so I'm kind of excited. There's actually some holiday bells hanging up here as well, so um, yeah, I just... Oh, it feels so good to open up all of this space. All right, so this one here is my, the last of my beloved Yankee Candle Tarte to Tan. Um, I purchased this at the outlet that was um, not far from my house, but they have since now closed. There was a really nice Yankee, uh, Yankee Candle outlet down in Wilsonville here in Oregon, but they closed a number of years ago. Um, and sometimes they would get some European exclusives, and that's what this was. Um, you can tell this is a European candle because the label on the bottom is totally different. Um, and I don't think the scent was ever released here. So anyway, um, I had a few of these. I used one last fall, and then I have this one left for this fall. Here. Sorry about that little interruption. Let's move on with um, my last 
Yankee Candle Sugared Apple here. Um, this great scent. And I do believe this one was re-released just this past holiday season. It went away for a long time. This is an amazing scent from Yankee. I do hope that they keep this one around. I would probably actually repurchase this. Probably not in their paraffin formula. These are all paraffin. And if you've watched my videos for any length of time, you know that I'm kind of anti-paraffin at this point. I just don't think it burns very well. Um, it's a very hard wax and I don't know. I just, I don't get the performance from it that I that I do from soy wax or a lot of like vegetable blends. So for me, paraffin is a little bit of a pass. But um, yeah, if I guess if I could only get sugared apple and paraffin again, I might consider it. But I would probably honestly just crock it. So anyway, this one smells quite strong on cold sniff. So I think I can burn this one at least to the halfway point. Um, and then I'll probably pop it into the crock anyway. Sorry. The rest of these four candles here are all <laughs> a former love of mine, Pumpkin Wreath. Oh, do you guys remember Pumpkin Wreath? I distinctly remember calling my local outlet and asking them if they had a bunch of these in stock, and they did. And so I drove down to Wilsonville from Portland, and I bought uh, probably... 10 or 15. Too many. I bought too many. I can tell you that. I did sell a few of these on Mercari back in the day. Um, I decided to keep four. I think I will go ahead and burn through at least a couple of these this coming fall season. It's a great fall scent, you guys. Um, if you have any information, if this is like ever coming back to Yankee, um, let me know. I... I probably would actually repurchase that. Next to that, we have my my last two Henry Bendel vanilla beans. Ugh, so sad. Um, yeah. I do... I was told by someone who lives near one of the Bath & Body Works test stores that they released some Henry Bendel candles in a three-wick format. But... The associate, when they asked them, wasn't really sure in terms of like what the future of these Henry Bendel scents was with Bath & Body Works. So um, I certainly hope that they that they bring this brand back to Bath & Body Works. I know a lot of people loved it. My favorite scent was definitely the vanilla bean, but they also had a really beautiful cashmere scent. They had some lovely florals. I think their peony was... Um, a really popular scent as well. But yeah, anyway, Bath & Body Works, if you are listening, um, if if you brought Vanilla Bean back, especially in a three-wick, holy cow, I'd be there like next Tuesday. Let me know. <laughs> okay, next to that, we have um, a very small Nest Candle collection. It's going to be a little bit smaller here in the next couple of weeks because I'm going to finally get around to reviewing this Nest Bamboo, which is the one that you see at the top there. Below that are two backups of Nest Holiday, which is a staple of mine every single year, um, alongside my um, Birchwood Pine. So what's great about having these two is that so for this next holiday season, I will not have to purchase. Hmm, well, sometimes I like to go through more. I don't I don't think I will. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other candles from other candle companies that I can enjoy. Plus, I still have I still have plenty of holiday candles from other companies as well. But I will have to get at least two of my birchwood pine, um which is the second uh, fragrance that is a must-have for me every single holiday season from Nest Candles. So when they go on sale at Sephora during the November um, savings event that they have every single year, I will pick up two from there because I can get them for 20% off. So um, I do love Nest Holiday. I will always, I will always repurchase that every single year. What's great is that what I can do next year is once the after season sales start, I was finding these Nest Holiday and Birchwood Pine and then the other holiday scents that were available this year. I was finding them for up to like 30 and sometimes 40% off at different websites. So um, I will buy the ones that I need for 2025 at the end of this next holiday season so I can save some money on them. And then again, I'll just pop them in this closet and they'll be ready to go for Christmas 2025. Um, Nest candles are expensive. So when they are on sale, that is a brand that I will be willing to purchase, even though 
it'll probably have to be stored away for a little bit. Um, I just think that makes a little bit more financial sense. I, I know that I use it every single year. So as long as I'm using it and not just hoarding it, that's fine. So, all right, I'm going to move you guys over just a touch here. And next we're going to discuss Voluspa. So right now I only have two. I've, I've burned um, a number of Voluspa candles. Um, and I have found for me that this one wick version, while these are so beautiful, like this glass, oh my gosh, it's a stunner, right? Hold on, let me focus the camera here. There we go. Ugh, it's beautiful, right? Stunning. Anyway, I still have a little bit of this left. This is the Gilt Pomander and Hinoki. Um, I like this scent. I don't love it. Um, I used this in my downstairs guest bathroom this past year, and, um, it's, it's a nice scent, don't get me wrong, but um, it's not my favorite. But let me tell you what I frickin' fell in love with, Noble Fur Garland. <sighs> that, this scent right here, you guys, is absolutely incredible, but also, look, look at that vessel. Look at it. It's stunning, isn't it? So this is their hearth size here. It does come with a very heavy lid. Um, so clearly I only went through about a third of this <laughs> for this holiday season. And um, so I might, mm, probably not because I plan on busting this out in November. Um, I did not get this particular one until well into December. So, um, you know, um, I have a feeling that this next holiday season, I'll be enjoying this one a little bit more frequently than I already have. So anyway, if this scent comes back, <laughs> again, once it goes on sale after the holiday season, I would absolutely purchase another one of these hearth candles. The thing is, I don't know as much about Veluspa. I haven't been shopping with them um, as long as I have with some of these other companies. So I'm not familiar enough with them to know whether they bring the same scents back every holiday season or if they switch it up. I do know they have like a peppermint candy cane scent that does come back every single year. That one looks quite familiar to me. I see it a lot. It has very distinct packaging. <laughs> But I'm, I'm not sure about the other holiday scents. So I'm not sure if this was some exclusive for Christmas 2023 or, again, if it will be back. If you have more Velispa information, let me know. That really is a brand that I am looking to dive a little bit deeper into. But I know for me that if I'm going to purchase from Velispa, what I will do is probably figure out the scents that I really love by ordering from their website. They allow you to curate your own little, like, sample pack. Um, either with their, they're like really, really small votives or they have a slightly larger like 10 style of candle, which would be great for like a bathroom anyway. So I might just curate a couple of those sets, figure out which scents I really love. And then I'm going to save my dollars and I'm going to invest in these hearth sizes because this filled my house. That nice great for a small bathroom, but even in a bedroom, I feel like those one wicks kind of get lost a little bit. Um, they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. And if there is a vessel that I loved, it might be worth it. <laughs> might be worth it to pick one up. But honestly, for me, it uh, it's either going to be the three wick Velispa candles or it is going to be like their luxury hearth size. So that's, um, that's my game plan anyway. Um, but if you are a Velispa... Um, connoisseur and you have a little bit more information to share with all of us in terms of how the brand um you know works with their releases and stuff uh fill us fill us all in in the comments down below all right next we have colonial i used to be such a fan of colonial candle first of all you could very frequently find them at ross marshall's home goods tj maxx um great locations but i also ordered from their website um, that was how I met my friend Eddie. <laughs> Good guy. Um, but yeah, now I feel like they're a little bit harder to find. One of my all-time favorite scents was this, uh, what was it called? White Pumpkin and Clove. Oh my gosh. Did you ever get your hands on this? Oh, it's so incredible. I don't think I've found anything quite this wonderful, at least in terms of, like, white pumpkin scents. Um, it is 
heavenly, absolutely heavenly. And I kind of nursed this one along and then put it away. Um, I do think that this this coming fall season, I will take this one downstairs and I will finally finish it. Um, Colonial has these beautiful like oval jars, which I really think are different and unique. They don't always burn the best and they do use a paraffin formulation, I, if I remember correctly. Sorry, I'm looking at the bottom here. No, they don't indicate down here, but I mean, this looks like paraffin to me. Um, whoa, uh, did I buy this? At, is this from 2011? I'm not sure how to read the dates uh, from Colonial. If you know, let me know, but I'm just looking at the bottom here. Um, I think this might be a 2011. <laughs> Boy, she's old. Um, anyway, I, I think I ordered that online though. I'm pretty sure I ordered that online. I'm pretty sure I ordered these online as well. And what is this one? It is their delightful sweet iced tea. This beauty right here. So I obviously have three of those, but that's what those are. Um, oh man. For a while there, I kind of got tired of this scent. So I put the last three that I had in this closet up here and then just kind of forgot about them for the last few summers. But this is good. Oh man, this is good. <laughs> Yum. Okay, well, I'm going to burn through these this summer. So this is a very sweet iced tea scent. Uh, could I could see where someone might find this one slightly cloying. It's a very, very sweet tea scent. Um, this is what I imagine like a southern sweet tea um tastes like, you know, with like this amount of sugar. <laughs> Man, sometimes, I, like I have tried some sweet tea from like different people, different friends of mine who like make their own sweet tea. Um, there are definitely varying amounts of sugar that you can add. Some of my friends add, I swear, like five cups of sugar <laughs> through their sweet tea. And some just add a little bit. I don't know. I think there needs to be a happy medium. <laughs> this is quite sweet, but it does smell good. Anyway, you guys, that's it. That is what is left of this like random collection here, I guess you could say. Um, I'm pretty proud of how far this collection has come as well. Um, I mean, this is it. And honestly, I, I should easily be able to move whatever is left at the end of this year into the closet. Um, I don't think there's gonna be much left from here because if those sweet teas are gone by this summer, if that white pumpkin goes away in the fall, the nest candles are obviously going to go away. Um, the vanilla beans, I do think I might save until next January just because I like vanilla bean then. But yeah, like there's really not going to be much left at the end of this year. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> this feels so good, you guys. Honestly, this just brings me a lot of joy to see how far I've come with, um, with using a lot of this stuff up. It really makes me happy. And um, yeah. While I'm always gonna buy new candles, I don't. I no longer feel like I need to just keep them all. You know, like I can enjoy them. I'm worth it. <laughs> I'm using the good stuff every single day now, and if you have a little bit of a block around that, I really encourage you to try to get past it because it feels really good to actually enjoy the things that you spend um, a lot of money on. And candles are not, they're not cheap. They are not. <laughs> I mean, that Veluspa candle is, that was horrifically expensive, but I love it. <laughs> I really enjoy it. I'm going to continue to enjoy it this next holiday season. So it's worth it, but I can't, you know, let stuff like this pile up. So anyway, you guys, thank you for being here for this series. We do have one more video that is to come and I have saved it, uh, for last uh, just because it is it's my Kringle candle collection and those are housed downstairs and they're kind of in a difficult to get to place so I've kind of dreaded dragging all of those out but I'm gonna get to it I promise so at any rate um, yeah if you guys are interested in the Kringle candle collection stay tuned for that it should be up next week at some point if you are new here please uh, subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm and I will see you guys in the next one take care toodaloo